Oh, what's good, YouTube? Bleacher Report just dropped the 50 greatest WWE superstars ever. Full countdown of Bleacher Report's greatest performers of all time. I don't know what to expect with this one. I have very low expectations. So let's get into it. Let's see what's good. 50 greatest WWE superstars ever list from Bleacher Report. Let's get it. Good question here. I definitely was thinking about how the judges based their rankings. Historical significance, championships, popularity, needle mover, time active, pay-per-view appearances, and skills. Pretty solid. Very all-around list of categories here to base their rankings. All right, so at number 50, Big Show. Damn, number 50? Honestly, Big Show at 50 is already telling me what kind of list this is going to be. Lita at 49. I like it. Vader, 48. Dean Ambrose, 47. AJ Styles, 46. Asuka, 45. Kofi Kingston at 44. This is how I... I think I could speak for everyone and say that Jeff Hardy should be at least in the top 30. Longevity, championships, pay-per-view appearances. What, what was that list? What was that list? I feel like he checks all the boxes here. You see a ladder, you want to do a swanton bomb. The dance, come on. The dance, bro, the meme where it's like, yo, when your friend is getting jumped, but you got to hit that little dance, there's an entire match and pay-per-view partly named because of Jeff Hardy and the Hardy Boys. 43 is crazy. I'm going to have a word with Bleacher Report after this. It's my second favorite wrestler of all time. 42, Ravishing Rick Rude. 41, Sasha Banks. Okay, depending on how the rest of the list goes, this might not be a bad spot for Sasha Banks. Definitely done a lot for the women's division, for wrestling in general. This might be a solid spot for Sasha Banks. Superstar Billy Graham at 40. RVD at 39? No way, bro. No way. Definitely top 30. Definitely top 30. Along with Jeff Hardy. That's crazy. Yo, 39 is wild. Owen Hart at 38. RIP. Mr. Perfect at 37. Mr. Perfect was before my time, but to have RVD at 39 and Mr. Perfect at 37 just does not make sense. Two-time IC champion and Hall of Famer. WWE champion, ECW champion, European champion, hardcore champion four times, IC champion six times, tag team champion three times, money in the bank, Hall of Famer, and still wrestling today. No disrespect to Mr. Perfect, though. 36 Batista? We might as well just end here. He had one of the best pyro of all time. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Ultimate Warrior at 35, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat at 34, Booker T at 33, Jake the Snake Roberts at 32, Kane at 31. I would say top 30. We'll live with 31 because it's on the cusp, but Kane is one of the most iconic superstars of all time. Razor Ramon at 30, Trish Stratus at 29. I respect this one. This is very fair. Trish is one of the greatest wrestler is still doing it today too like her last run in wwe last year was was pretty solid 28 china respect it r.i.p another goat charlotte flair at 27 seth rollins at 26 i like that seth is on the cusp of top 25 it's hard for me to rank seth in the top 25 because of me growing up, the whole Attitude Era, all the wrestlers that I've seen on the come up. Definitely, if I'm like a new wrestling fan today, Seth would be top five. Uh, but I love this. Of For the greatest superstars ever list, 26 Seth Rollins right now, this is very fair. Obviously, in years to come, Seth will go higher on the list. This is perfect for him right here. 25, Edge. Ric Flair at 24. But Ric Flair at 24 is kind of crazy to me. I do not know what to expect. This is catching me by surprise here. 
Becky Lynch, the man at 23. Daniel Bryan at 22. I could live with this. I think it's a bit too high. Triple H at 21. I had Triple H at number 20. And he's doing an amazing job with WWE today. So if we were to rank him on based on what he has done to the company since taking over, basically, um, he should definitely be higher. CM Punk at 20. No, this is this is fair. Best in the world, baby. At 19, we have Randy Orton. Daddy's back. 18, Eddie Guerrero, bro. One of the GOATs. Definitely top 20. 18 is the spot, Freddie Guerrero. 17, Brock Lesnar. You know, I had him top 15. On my list. Maybe even top 10, bro. Dominant. The Beast. Suplex City. It's canceled right now, but... Man, Brock Lesnar? Definitely one of the greatest superstars ever. 16, Chris Jericho. At 15, we got Mick Foley. Top 15. Solid so far. I'm a fan. I like what we got going on. Number 14, Andre the Giant. Yo, I feel like they could have ranked him higher. You know, there was a couple categories there. Maybe he's lacking in championships, but I think Andre the Giant could have been higher. 13, Roman Reigns. To anyone today, he's our tribal chief. You know what I'm saying? He's our tribal chief. We got to acknowledge him. He already has the one of the longest reigning championship runs he's come a long way i mean he was hated by everyone at one point now he's our tribal chief just like seth rollins in like a couple years definitely move higher on the list number 12 i don't even want to look bro number 12 ray mysterio okay he's done so much bro for latin wrestlers for the little guys No, I like this. I like this a lot. Number 11, my favorite number. Kurt Angle. Yo. I think Kurt Angle is like the overall, like if you were to create a wrestler and like max out in a video game, I think it would be like Kurt Angle. Like as far as like physique and skill, Kurt Angle is mad funny too. Kurt Angle at 11 is solid. All right. Top 10. At number 10, Hulk Hogan. Bro, Hulk Hogan is definitely top five. Not the best wrestler in ring, but what he's done for wrestling, like to make it mainstream and just a pioneer to the game. Number nine, Rowdy Roddy Piper. You know, he was before my time, but everyone who is a fan of wrestling... Definitely Piper is like, he's in the top 10 for sure. So I respect this at nine. Maybe we could have changed him and Hulk, but number eight, Shawn Michaels. The Rock at seven. Yo, The Rock is going crazy nowadays, bro. Going off script and everything. The Rock is wild. It's the final boss right there. Number six. Please don't be Stone Cold, bro. If Stone Cold is not one on this list, I swear. Bruno San Martino. I knew he was going to be somewhere in the top 10, way before my time. So I don't really have too much to say. But at number six, this is solid. Top five. I'm going Stone Cold at one, Taker at two, Bret Hart at three, John Cena at four, and Macho Man at five. But because this list is so bad, I'm going to say they're going to have Bret Hart at 1, Taker at 2, Stone Cold at 3, Cena at 4, and Macho Man at 5. Just saying. So at number 5, Bleacher Report's greatest WWE superstar ever is... is blank. Can you guys see? I can't see... Whatever the case, moving on. The fourth greatest WWE superstar ever, according to Bleacher Report, is The Undertaker at four? What? 
I'm scared to see the top three. The third greatest WWE superstar ever. Please don't be Stone Cold. Macho Man, I could live with Macho Man at three. Definitely was in my top ten. At number two, Bleacher Report has ranked the greatest WWE superstar ever. Get the No way, bro. What? 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 Wow, bro. This is crazy. Who's the greatest wrestler of all time? I'll put money up right now. They have Bret Hart as the greatest wrestler of all time. But to have Stone Cold Steve Austin at number two? is absurd number one is bret hart bro according to bleacher report the greatest wwe superstar ever is bret hart i already knew this list was going to be ass when they had jeff hardy at 43 and rvd at what 39 but it's very close definitely one and two uh i'm curious to know why taker was four Overall, this list was super ass. A lot of questionable rankings there. A lot of solid picks, though. You know, Eddie Guerrero, Y2J, Kurt Angle, Rey Mysterio. Love that. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this list. Who you think was snubbed off the list. Who you think shouldn't have been on the list. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video.